Hi everybody, welcome to today's live. So my name is Laura Mason, for those of you who don't know me, and today I'm going to hearing around the theme of, sorry, the screen just flipped there, around the theme of freeing you from ancestral trauma to open up your capacity to receive more abundance. So I'm just going to give people moment to join before we jump in. Let me know where you're joining from today. Let me know if you're able to hear me. Okay, so we are going to jump in. Okay, so this live is based around an upcoming course that I'm offering, not this weekend, but the following weekend. It's live in London and it can also be online. So our ancestors experience does affect our ability to receive, to receive, to receive abundance and what they went through impacts what we experience because their traumas can be hardwired into our body. So if you have a cycle within an ancestral line, within a family that repeats, If it repeats so many times, what happens is, is it changes the neurology and it changes the biology, which is going to impact you and your body. So there's many different things that our ancestors have gone through, including war, including famine, including domestic abuse, neglect. So I'm curious to know based on what you know about your ancestors, what is the trauma that they have gone through? Let me know. Because what they go through is going to potentially impact the cell, the way in which the cell is developed. And it has the potential to distort the cell, which can then manifest in their own life or in their descendants as health problems. So it can predispose you to certain health challenges, but also it can predispose you to money issues, issues with your business. So let's say the ancestors went through famine. So based on that, they're going to learn a collection of things about themselves, about life, about money. So the way we see the world and the way we see ourselves, the way we see money, it all is shaped by our experiences. So these belief systems are going to be passed down the ancestral line and then they can manifest as problems in your life unless they're cleared. So it's really, really important to clear it. It may not have started with you yet. It's going to continue to impact you unless you break the cycle. It's also going to impact the cells and the body and it's going to predispose the descendants to stress. So I'm just curious to know, what is it that your ancestors went through? Because we're going to do some energy clearing now. If anything comes up, let me know. So let's even look at something like famine. So from famine, there's going to be a lot of limiting belief systems that are formed, such as there's not enough, there's not enough opportunities for me, there's not enough money, there's not enough resources, and even if your ancestors went through this three, four, five generations ago, if they haven't worked on that and changed that in some way, that's going to get handed down. And they teach that to their own children. So it gets handed down through the genes, but it also gets handed down through behavior that they have learned, their relationship with money. They're going to teach their children about that 
even if it's done unconscious, because a lot of what we learn, we learn it through what is told to us, but it doesn't even have to be told. We, we're told it through what is modeled to us. And then that's what we learn about money, about life, about relationships, and then that is going to affect your life in some way. Sorry, my laptop has to be plugging in a different way. So then that gets played out somehow in your life. So that might be in your business. You know, you try to get ahead in your business, yet you keep on hitting walls or blocks. And these blocks are constructed based on the belief systems. The walls are constructed based on the belief systems and the energy associated with the belief system. So it's almost like the belief systems and the energy create these energetic walls. So as you go to expand beyond them, you hit the wall and you can't move beyond it. So let's start there. So first of all, let's start to just remove the energy associated with that. So if it was famine, even if it was war, I think we'll just start clearing, clearing it all out. You know, if you look at war, you know, one of the impacts of war is needing to immigrate. And that can potentially affect future generations. So then what they're left with is this sense of not being able to fit in, not belonging. And that's going to impact a lot of different things. If you look at, you know, domestic abuse, that runs through the family line, or even abuse in any way. Part of one of the ways that we can respond to the abuse is we numb out, we become emotionally cold. So then you have children, and then that gets played out with your children, and then that can get taught to them. And either they're going to mimic it, or they can go another way. But a lot of the time they're going to mimic it. So it's going to then play out in your life as potential relationship difficulties, codependencies, uh, low self-worth. So let's find all of the things that your ancestors did go through, including famine, including war, any other thing. So for the rest of you who just joined, what we're talking about is ancestral trauma and the way that it's going to impact you in your life, in your business. So whatever our ancestors went through, it's going to affect us on different levels. If the cycle has repeated a certain amount of times, it's going to get wired into our neurology, into our biology, and it's going to impact us in that way. They're going to form belief systems and the emotional energy associated with that. If it is not resolved, it has the potential to distort the cells in the body, which can then manifest as health challenges, money issues. So let me know what it is that your ancestors went through. What was the traumas they went through? Let me know. And now if you look at your own life, how does that impact you? So what we're going to do is we are going to find all the energy of war, of famine, of abuse, and we're just going to start to clear that out. And anything keeping that anchored in, let's just show you that it's safe to release it. And just start to clear it out. Let's cancel it, resolve it, dissolve it, transform it, transform it from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, S, P, I, C. And what I'm seeing on the ancestral line is some of the ancestral energy is saying to me, it is not safe to have money, it's not safe to have things, it's not safe to have possessions. And I'm seeing that some of that comes from communism and the, th the, the rules, the laws, etc., that were instilled there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show your ancestral line. And if you experience anything like that, that, that it can recognize what is the past and what is now. 
And within that, then, there's a lot of belief systems, there's a lot of negative associations with having, having money, having possessions. So if any of you resonate with that, what, what might your ancestors have learned about having money, having possessions? So one of the things I'm seeing is it's dangerous. And there's a lot of negative consequences wired in. So let's start to lift those out. All of the negative consequences that have been wired in, in regards to having money, in regards to having possessions. So one of the ways this can manifest in your life is you might struggle to bring in money or you might get money, but then you lose it. You can't hold on to it because on an unconscious level, the unconscious mind is saying it's actually not safe to have it. So it tries to get rid of it. So let's just start to cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose, void, choose, eat it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So the negative associations are I'll be punished, I'll be hurt. I'll be imprisoned, bad things will happen if I have my own money, my own possessions. So let's just give you your ancestors a new truth on that. And let's start to let go of all of that. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose, void, choose, it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. And let's just clear out all of the emotional energy based on that that was not processed. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose, void, choose, data from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So any vow, oath, promise, contract, agreement, obligation, or commitment to not have money and anything that was signed at any point and anywhere your ancestors had to sign anything away and that is still standing and that affects you and that does not allow you to be able to generate money or hold on to money can we just show you that it's safe to let that go? All negative consequences and all traumas that underpin that, let's start to resolve and clear those out. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve. Transform, choose it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So then all of the emotional triggers that have been put in with having money, having wealth, having possessions, that are negative, such as it leads to pain, hurt. Let's start to let all of that go. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve. Choose four, choose zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. There's a lot of sadness there, so we're gonna release what can go. And let's just show you actually how to process your emotions. It's safe for you to process your emotions. And let's just release all of the emotions that can go. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve. Choose four, choose zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So there is a belief coming up. If I have money, it will be took from me. If I have money, I will be a target. So let's show you how you can have money without being targeted, without it being took from you. Let's show you what it is to have money and wealth and possessions without whilst being protected. So also now that's clearing out, but what I'm being shown is there are some belief systems within some of your family dynamics. Hi Roy, good to have you here. There are some belief systems within some of your family systems where there are beliefs like I have to share everything, I'm not allowed to have anything for myself because actually, these past traumatic uh, events, that is how they impacted the family. So the family learned to rely on each other in that way, which they would have come closer for survival, which would have been helpful for a period. But what I'm seeing is, is that has become unhealthy now. So there are these rules, and they may be unspoken within some of your families, that you're not allowed to have anything for yourself. So let me know if that resonates for you, and if so, why? Okay, so looking at one of these comments, there's a belief that being wealthy or financial stable, stable causes you to become too materialistic and blo blocks your spiritual growth. How is that? Let me know. 
So can we clear the energy? What is yours is your family's and show you truth on that. And let's release all things in the way of that. Let's come to resolve desire, truth, which is uniform, the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So I'm seeing part of what is needed is the knowing and the belief and the feeling that you are allowed to have things for yourself. So let's show you that. And I'm seeing that on some of the family lines, they have been faced, and you might have experienced this yourself, with negative feedback, negative consequences, if you do not share. So can we release all attack, all negativity? Can we release any entitlement? And let's show your ancestral line and your families that they also are entitled to have things for themselves. And the things that caused this dynamic to occur are over and they're in the past. And let's just clear out all the negative reference points that were created based on this. Let's come to resolve desire, truth, which is either from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So then all of the things that may have happened in the past where you experienced attack or negativity or jealousy, either for having either for having things for yourself or for kind of thinking differently to your family or making a different choice. Let's clear out all of those reference points. Let's find them and clear them. Let's come to a resolve, dissolve, transform to zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. I'm also seeing some other traumas that are on the family line, the ancestral line, where there has been problems within the family <clears throat> dynamic, such as um, addiction, abuse, one parent not being available. So then part of what's occurred here is either one or more children have stood in the shoes of the other parent as a way to try to provide stability, and safety so they can have their survival needs met so the family doesn't fall apart and then that has been handed down and part of what that's created is on an unhealthy dynamic between son and daughter or not son and daughter son and mother or father or daughter and mother or father so there's this type of relationship where the parent is very reliant on the child. That can be reliant from the perspective of emotional support, financial support, many different things. So then things get really, really tangled up. Then that gets handed down in the family as well. And you know, often people will attract or be attracted to people who have a similar uh, energy, dynamic, family blueprint even if they don't necessarily want it, there is this unconscious pull towards it because it feels familiar, it feels like home. So then this gets handed down as well. So this is gonna create different kinds of problems. It's gonna create issues on an emotional level because you wouldn't have been able to, whether it was you or your ancestors or perhaps both, you wouldn't have been able to emotionally separate in a way that is healthy from your parent. Without that healthy separation, you're not really going to actually be available in the way that you need to be available to have a healthy relationship of your own. And if you are in that healthy relationship, I mean, if you are in a relationship, it can just create problems because you're going to have probably beliefs like my mother comes first or my father comes first or my mother is number one, my father is number one. And when you go into a relationship as an adult, part of what needs to occur is this detachment from your parents and an attachment to your partner. And it can create this internal struggle within yourself and potentially an external struggle. 
maybe between your mother and your partner or your father and your partner. And then, you know, if, if you have this belief that your mother or your father comes first, their needs are going to come first, whether it's emotional, financial, whatever it is, above your own. And probably above your partners. Or you might find yourself trying to juggle between the two, but that can just suck the happiness out of you. So that detachment is needed. So part of what will have been instilled based on this type of dynamic, wherever it begun and was probably modeled again down the line, is you're responsible for whatever it is you're responsible. It can be your mother, their emotions, their life, it could be your father, it can be money. So can we just find all the responsibility that was instilled in from the point it was created and at every other level and clear all the things that is anchoring that in place. Let's cancel resolve desire to switch to it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. You know, sometimes what happens is, is we get bonded through traumatic experience. So if if it was you or an ancestor who went through trauma with their parent, you get bonded through that. It's even like if you look at this thing that we started talking about a moment ago, where I was seeing that some of the ancestors were saying, well, I, I can't have anything for myself because I have to share everything. Part of that was a bond through trauma that brought the ancestors together. But the, the trauma is over now, but they still stay in this cycle. So part of what's created is this unhealthy closeness and there can be confusion between who am I and who, who are they. So there's this unhealthy connection. So first of all, can we show you whatever those traumas are that are over are in the past? And let's give you sources, truth and perspective on that. Let's cancel resolve desire to switch to zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So all of the unhealthy entanglements based on that, can we start to move those out? Let's cancel resolve desire to switch to zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So everything that was instilled in to you and to your ancestors about what connection is that is not healthy, can we remove that? Can we give you sources truth and sources perspective on that and take out all of the structures, all of the beliefs, all the ways of being, all the ways of interacting and release all things in the way of that. Let's come to resolve disasters, which is either from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So now I'm seeing some fear of letting that go. And there's some ancestors telling me that if they let that go, the consequence would be some kind of punishment, not being took care of, neglect. So let's just start to remove all of that and all of those old reference points. Let's clear that it's unsafe to let that go. Let's cancel resolve desire for which is it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So let's show you and your ancestors that you can grow, you can thrive, you can prosper, you can move forward, that you know how to without these unhealthy attachments. And anywhere you are seeing others through the lens of being incapable of whatever it is you think they're incapable of that keeps this bond in place, can we show you truth on that? And can we let go of everything else? Can we cancel, resolve, dissolve, trace, void, choose it from the source point? on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. And let's just update you so that you can see and your ancestors can see the people that you love through sources' eyes and not through the limited lens of past traumas. And let's just clear out all the limited lenses. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose, wait, choose, zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So I'm seeing some energy of financial ruin and I'm seeing some promises made based on that. So let's just clear out that energy of financial ruin. Let's clear out everything you decided, everything your ancestors decided, concluded, all that was instilled into you about money, about life, 
Let's come to resolve this object for to zero from the source point on all levels of your being a W S precisely because if you feel like you have to take care of a certain amount of people before you can create wealth for yourself, that can block your wealth, that can block your money because it seems like such a burden. So let's just lift that out, show you that it's safe to let go of that promise, show you the truth about why that happened. Let's clear then all of the reference points in regards to instability in creating, having, and holding on to money. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve, truth, for which is zero from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, S, precisely. And let's just bring in stability, what it is to have stability, showing you through source how you can actually create and generate money and release all that. So we're giving you ideas in regards to how to do this. And let's just let go of all the things that is not allowing you to see, know, perceive, and receive all of that. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve. Choice four two zero from the source point on all levels of your being a w s precisely. So let's just let bring down the walls, remove as many walls which are constructive of belief systems, feelings, emotions that is limiting you in terms of what you can have, create, and generate. Let's cancel, resolve, dissolve. Choose four two zero from the source point on all levels of your being a w s precisely. The other thing is, is, if you have family members or ancestors who had a business and something happened that was negative, such as their health deteriorated based on the business, then you're going to have beliefs like, I can only have my health or I can have my business. But if you look at that, there are alternative options available. So if you actually look at what happened with them, what could they have done differently? So maybe they took on too much themselves. Maybe there were alternatives where they could have brought people in. So just giving you sources perspective and truth on that. And let's just release that you cannot run or own your own business. Let's come to resolve dissolve, choose four two zero from the source point and all levels of your being a W S Pasi and all of the sacrifices that is instilled into you in regards to having a business and what you're going to have to give up, whether it's love or money, can we just clear that out? Cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose four two zero from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, S, S, S. Okay, guys, how is everybody doing? Okay, all right, guys, so thank you very, very much for joining. Please make sure to drink plenty of water. You can go back and listen to this live again and you can receive the healing. And as I mentioned earlier, today was a taster of a course that I'm running Friday, no, Saturday week, the 2nd and uh, 3rd of December in London. And it's about rewiring trauma. Trauma can be your own trauma. It can be your ancestral trauma. You're welcome. It can be your own trauma. It can be ancestral trauma. It can be about business, it can be about money, it can be about abuse, it can be about the things that they went through or you went through. This all impacts how you're wired. So what we're doing, good to see you too, Roy. What we're doing is, is we're looking at, well, how did this affect you on a physical level, on a biological level, on a neurological level? Because it's going to wire you for things like fear, terror, hypervigilance, lack, poverty, and we're clearing that out. So I'm going to share the link for those of you on Facebook and those of you on Instagram, you can catch the link in my bio. Thank you very, very much for joining. Bye for now.